Six. Quick one, quick one. Before we move on to our last story, I literally just remembered and I have to tell you. I saw a report yesterday on BBC via the Economist Intelligence Unit stating that Lagos is now ranked as 138th in the world in terms of the world's worst cities to live in. This was out of a survey of 140 cities to live in. Chukudi. It is really heartbreaking. And the truth is, mm -hmm. I, I don't want people, you know, most times we argue. It's a lie, Joe. How did they get it? I mean, you can argue for or against, but it's always good to look at the parameters. Should I give you the analogy used. that I gave for this Thank situation you. yesterday? I said that Singapore got their independence five years after us. True. They got their independence as a poor country. Meanwhile, here in Nigeria, after discovering our oil riches in 1956, we got our independence as a rich country. Today, Singapore has the world's strongest passports, and Nigeria's most commercial city is still hitting the all-time low on world rankings. Now, what we must do as Nigerians is to understand that it is in our powers to correct all of these wrong indexes. I think a lot of economic colonialism is still there, and I feel like this has a lot to do with the fact that we're getting these statistics in. Look at the World Bank. Look at the IMF. Look. Anyway, that's all a story for another no, but, day. But quick one. The truth is we can, you know, argue and say, well, there are certain issues, but in an academic discussion, it is issue and fact-based. Mm. You, you see, you cannot defend a case in an academic discussion yeah. using miracles mm -hmm. or explaining spiritual exactly. uh, uh, theories. It is fact-based. Exactly. And they will tell you that we are going to fact-check your argument. So what we must do as Nigerians is first become aware. And the awareness is there are countries that we were ranked on the same level of on that development, degradation, poverty, and penury. But these countries, through concerted effort, through a planned process, through consistency, and through a national uh, uh, vision. value system, vision, have been able to attain growth and development. You spoke about Singapore. There is also the case of Malaysia. Do you know that I read in my government textbook that if you look, oil seedlings, palm seedlings, were taken from the Southeast Research Institutes or centers. Those Southeast uh, Research Institutes or centers today have become desolate, Is it just derelict, it abandoned. But these countries took us, went to their country, mm. developed it, and today, when you rank countries that are the largest in exports, they are number one. Absolutely, absolutely. Even look at a country like Rwanda. They had the world's worst genocide in 1994, yet today they are Africa's most developing country. So it's a lot of food for thought for us here in Nigeria. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.